a biologist butterfly and a splendid shipwreck and welcome to the universal animal almanac challenge video ultra mega wow impossible gone wrong challenge <laughs> i was telling you last week that i really enjoyed this book i remember it being a great toy from my childhood and yeah wanna explain how it works it's a book <laughs> it has animals in it and you flip through the things and create new beasts and that's the gist of it what we're going to do is sam is going to pick a beast for me i do have to make the illustration of course the and environment the um, scientific name okay it has to be binomial i don't know how to do that but okay i mean it needs to have two names okay so name and last name okay betty splendid genus and yeah <laughs> okay Beta splendid. betty <laughs> sure <laughs> and then habitat illustration and the name yeah your animal is cow kiwi armadillo thank you cow kiwi armadillo this is how it looks like on the almanac let's do yours let's i'm excited see. it's an elephant kangaroo rat fish Yay! Do you remember yours? Um, it was a cow kiwi... Armadillo. Armadillo. Mine is cute. Yours is cute. Mine is cuter. Because I really like cows. And I really like armadillos. And I really like kiwis. So... You wanna see the process of our illustrations? Let's go! Shall I go first? You shall go first. In three... Two, one, go. First of all, I want to start by saying that I got my animals mixed up and I thought I was going to do a kiwi. But I got the kiwi. Yeah, but it's okay because the skeleton is really similar. So here I am just sketching, doodling. I did the skeleton to see the proportions and this is me thumbnailing some ideas. Okay. I wanted to do it swimming or near its burrow or something like that. But then I settled on this idea, which is kind of like an open and a close version of the animal. Mm -hmm. So this is me detailing the bones. The spine is based on the kangaroo rat and the legs and the Arms. arms of course but i discovered that elephants have weird vertebrae uh -huh. and they have spines in their back so i kind of did that to towards the back yes so it has like a fin a dorsal fin. oh that's clever yes and also i kind of modified the spine because fish have a tail that goes side to side yeah. And their spine just goes side to side. But mammals, we have spines that go up and down. So I modified the tail, the fish tail to go up and down. But it has fish vertebra. You can see it. And I did it with dot work. Kudos to you, honestly. Because I don't remember the last time I tried to do dot work. I really, really, really enjoy it. I threw on some lines because those bones, like the arm, and the femur they are also the the fangs right yes and the ribs too they have lines but i think it's coercive it doesn't look out of place no it doesn't honestly it makes it look just that more detailed thank you i really really enjoy it so you can see in the bottom i was going to do the closed version in this same page but you ran out of space right no i didn't i just really liked how this skeleton turned out and I didn't want to contaminate the page. Nice. So, I don't know, I had a blast doing this. And you know this, you almost punched me because I had so much trouble starting. Yes. But once I started, I had such a fun time. You couldn't stop. Yes, because dot work is amazing. It's honestly very relaxing. It's the best. I really enjoy it. I might do that in the next one. Yes, it was a lot of work trying to figure out the proportions, but I think it looks okay. It looks amazing, it looks fantastic, honestly. Thank you, and this is the closed version. I decided that it's habitat, it's a humid tropical forest. 
Okay, because it's near the beach, near the water. Yes, because everything can live there. Okay. So the fur is really close to a traditional kangaroo rat. Okay. But it's slightly more obscure. Like a mammoth. Like a mammoth. And yes, it's based on a mammoth. Because okay. it would be like weird to have the head just not have any hair. I mean, it's not on scene. Yeah, but I like this one. I also like it. And I think I did a good job with color. You did a great job with color. You finally decided to go dark. Yes, yes. I was like, put more color in, put saturated, saturated, and I did. And the tail is scaly. It looks fantastic. Thank you. Why is it like uh, going bending sad? downwards? <laughs> because I have a new tripod thing. It's not a tripod, it's a thing. For, the phone. for my phone oh. and I need to make it not go honestly your your watercolor turned out as cute as nothing you've ever made before and your skeleton work is just fucking brilliant thank you I really really enjoyed it and you did a flippy thing that looks like you studied the animal right there in the jungle yes thank you it's like a yeah it's like field journal yeah a field journal and i think it's brilliant that you chose to do that i think i suggested it but i think yes. it's brilliant how you mounted it thank you so yeah this is micromamuta aquatica nice uh, i don't know i imagine that there would be one that doesn't have a fish tail that could be Micromamuta dipodops. Okay. But this one that has a fish tail, it's Micromamuta aquatica. Because it's half a fish. Yes. Nice. So I made a little description. So it's a pocket sized mammal of nocturnal habits. Lives in communities and makes burrows near lakes and other bodies of water. It feeds mainly on algae, fruit, and little fish. And it's an exceptional swimmer. Good. Like, I mean, this is your thing, right? Yes, I was geeking out. I was like, Ooh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Amazing. Okay. I, I don't think I can top this. Let's see yours. Okay. In three, two, one, go. Mine, I didn't sketch the skeleton. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I thought, okay, which bits am I going to use? Which is the most recognizable. I got armadillo, cow, kiwi. So for the armadillo bit, I did the skeleton, the outer skeleton, and mm -hmm. the face. For the body, I picked the cow body. So entirely based on how cows are shaped and put on those different bits in a cow shape body. And the legs are the kiwi legs. So that was my train of thought. I didn't think like, how would it survive? things like that. <laughs> I just did a little bit of research on each of the animals and turns out all of those are from prairies. It lives on Latin America, prairies and alongside water bodies. It's a domestic animal and it serves for food because I know in Latin America there is this custom where they eat armadillo meat. Mmm, yummy yummy. And cows are also like food, so yeah. this one is a domestic animal for food. Okay. They live in prairies, but mainly farms, and they are exceptional diggers. Oh, nice. So they nest in the in big, big holes they make. Oh. <laughs> and I made this doodle of one cowidillo just burrowed in the middle of the ground. Because they're scared -y. Yes, and the farmer just like, what the hell? Oh, oh, I love them. It's so cute. It's I cutest. know, it's the cutest. And I also like how I made the illustration because I, I wasn't going to make the background. But then I decided like, it looks stupid without a background. <laughs> so I put on some grass and the ground, but I also decided to make the entire prairie on the back. I like the way that I make the details because I know now my watercolors and I was just having fun and experimenting with the textures and the things. But honestly, it's nothing that I haven't done. Well, I think it looks really cute. I also think that. I think it's funny how you can tell which one is the artist and which one is the biologist. Yes, because I have no clue as to what they eat other than grass <laughs> and as to... I mean, I went with the obvious. 
Yeah, the obvious. Well, I like it. I like it too, thank you. Did you name it? Yes. It's called Apteryx, like the kiwi, Taurus, like the cow, and Trisinctus, like the armadillo. That's cute. That's obvious as well. I mean, I have issues with it, but that's okay. Because Apteryx is a genus for kiwi. Oh, yes. And so it should have had the Apteryx later in the name. You should have modified the genus. Oh. Because it's from a different family. Okay. Sorry, it's... Oh, and then I, I decided to put on the spots on the cow. Oh, oh, cute, cute. <laughs> I love it. What? Oh, I love cows. I love them too. Honestly, they were my favorite animal for such a long time. I think it's so cute. I like it very, very, very much. But you were saying about the name. Oh, yeah. So how taxonomy works okay. is that you go with phylogenetics, which are how they evolved. Okay. So it's their relationships are most more close to each other as they have levels. Okay. So species is the most uh, specific one and genus is the next most specific one. Okay. So the animals that share the same genus are almost the same. So if this was an Apteryx, it would look like a kiwi. It would look like a kiwi. Not like a cow. In fact, there are multiple kiwi species, which are all kiwis, uh -huh. which the genus is Apteryx. Oh. That's why you would have wanted to change the genus. Because this specific cowidillo has a different evolutionary history than cows. Honestly, my train of thought was, this is a cow that developed the shape of the legs and the outer skeleton. But it's a cow. Works. But it still wouldn't be the same genus. Okay. It would be maybe the same family. Okay. Or the same order. Okay. So Taurus in the middle is alright. Yes. The rest is okay. Okay. Maybe you could have said like Megapteryx. Oh. You know? It, just change it a little bit. Okay. And it's cute that it's still Apteryx. Because it reminds of a kiwi. Yes. But it's not quite a kiwi. Okay. That's the only issue I have with it. Sorry about ranting. Okay, it's alright. So, looking at, looking at them side by side, I want to remind them what the, the point system is. Yeah, we have several categories, which are theme, comfort zone, composition, color theory, difficulty, and likability. Okay, so for starters, theme. Which one was more into the theme? I vote mine. I don't know. <laughs> okay, why why would you vote for yours? Because it's more like the picture in the book. Okay. So it's head, torso, tail. Okay, and I mixed it all. Yeah, which is a nice thing. I mean, I'm not against it, but I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. And we had decided that we would like do the habitat. Yeah, blah, blah. I did the habitat, but you oh, did it true. more specific. True, 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 true. So, okay, I'll give it to you just because you kept the book original idea. Yay. Okay, so comfort, comfort zone. zone. I think I vote yours. I think I do too. <laughs> just because of the goddamn dot work. And the color. And the color. Because I saturated it. And it looks great. <laughs> yes. Yes, true. True that. Composition. Composition. I want to vote mine. Yeah, I didn't compose shit. <laughs> you did, honestly. However, I don't think it's well composed. Yeah, no. No, <laughs> it's, it's whatever. I vote yours. Thank you. Color, Color theory. theory. I also vote mine. Hmm. I think both are good. Yes. Okay, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> I blended my animal to the background, like it looks like it's in there. Yes. Also, I think that the fact that I made the grass... The foreground. Yes, the grass from the foreground darker is me points. But that's part of composition, isn't it? But also color theory. Okay, I'll give it to you. That's my defense. Okay, good one. Thank you. Difficulty. Difficulty, I want to say yours. Me too. <laughs> God damn it. Because I had a tough time. I know. Especially because you had the most difficulty figuring out when to start. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Yes. Like, mine went swimmingly the entire time. 
No, mine didn't. <laughs> I did the sketches and I couldn't decide. I was this close to making a little comic so I could develop multiple of those <laughs> ideas. <laughs> well, so cute. Yeah, anyway, difficulty, mine. Yes, mine, yours. Mine, mine. Yours. <laughs> and likability. I like mine more. I don't. I like mine more. So it's a tie. <laughs> Still, you win. I win! For one point, though. For one point. I think we both did a good job. Yes. We're, hey. we're all winners in here. Hey! Except I'm not. <laughs> Except you're not. <laughs> so this is the next day. Welcome to this brand new day in the year of our Lord 2020. So that's nice. I win. Obviously. <laughs> Don't get cocky. <laughs> uh, right, so next week, what are we doing? An original idea we got from Druffy, but we're chopping into bite-sized pieces. Exactly. <laughs> Where each one of us will choose a celebrity or actor or some person of influence. That we both know. That we both know. And we'll describe it to the other one. And... We'll try to do a blind portrait of that person. That's the gist of it. Yes, stay tuned. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, to check out our different Instagram pages and the Splendid Butterflies page, as well as the Facebook page and our playlist of art challenges that you can find up there. Thank you. Thank you. See okay, you. bye. See you next week.